All right. Uh, Crossover time. Steiny and Goo, Dibs and Willard, 95-7 the game. You guys never cease to amaze me, man. Why? What we do now? I'm just, I come in this morning, uh, Chipper. Shout out Chipper Jones telling Steiny I kept my foot on the pulse of the Masters. Chipper Jones. I watched it all solo dolo. Yeah. Scheffler's won two of the last three. And I just throw his name around and... All I hear is he's not Tiger. He doesn't have a personality. Well, and nobody, like, nobody's Tiger. But I guess what I'm saying is we like the Draymond Greens in. Everything is wrestling. You can't just go about your business and be Tim Duncan and be a stud and we come in here. Like, Tiger used to win by 100 strokes, allegedly, right? So what's the difference with Scheffler, who kind of won going away? I mean, what? it's kind of like what we were talking about last week when, when I was saying that uh, – you know, a lot of people after the Caitlin Clark thing are like, you know, women's basketball is here. And it's like, it is in a different way. But but no, this is actually about Caitlin because she's a TV character. Scotty is going to struggle to be a TV character. He literally got finished with the Masters victory and went to a press conference and said, I really want to just Does go Does that home. affect right. his greatness? Right. Now, no, okay. no. No, huh. and 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 Steiny just brought up the name Tim Duncan. It's a very very TD. good comp. Great call. Scott Scotty's not there yet, but he looks like he's on his way. I mean, mm -hmm. he's legitimately fantastic, but he didn't like. I watched his <laughs> eyebrows the entire day, and neither one of them ever raised. He was just on a Sunday stroll. Yeah, and if you know the sport, you could tell at the eighth hole. This thing's cooked. Oh, wow. They're all tied, and this thing's cooked because he is a robotic destroyer. Yeah. Oh. And, like, the rest of the guys were not going to be able to hang. Well, I just can't wait to get home and see my <laughs> wife. You know, she's going to have a baby, and this is, Nothing like, the wrong fourth. With that, Nothing dude. wrong with Nothing that. Nothing wrong with it, but, like, oh, this is, like, you know, the fourth most important thing in my world. You know, oh. this and... Oh my God! Didn't Rendon say that? And we came oh, down his road. Me. I thought something oh happened. boy! Me too. I thought People Curry don't, was out tomorrow. Geez, you can <laughs> say that when you're amazing exactly. and you win. You can't say that when you're okay. hitting a buck uh, ninety eight. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. Well, I agree with you. That's there. that's. It's just the way it is. He's not a great TV Blue character. Swords. He's a hell of a golfer. Wow. Yeah. Hell of a golfer. And I'd rather he wins than someone named Ludwig, who we met four days ago. I'm sorry. I hope that doesn't yeah. rub anyone wrong. Or the someone way. named Bryson, who oh. I was rooting against well, of with that, all my heart. But that's different. I'm talking about wow. golf is the only sport. It is the only sport where you can go, okay, we're, here we go. It is the weekend of the year. Let's sit down, yeah. and we're going to root for the champion of the year, and someone shows up you've never heard of. That'd be like the, the Niners uh, played the Chiefs right in the Super Bowl, right. and they introduced you to their quarterback that day. Wow. You're like, who? This person's going to win the whole thing? Ludwig? With a little dot over his last name, and oh, I yeah. don't even know what yeah. the hell that means? That's golf. That's only golf. Wow. I always root against those guys. I'm I like, it's not your turn yet. I text Evan last night, can you get the sound where I told Stani I got Scheffler this morning? He goes, that's like saying the Jordan Bulls were going to win. Totally. totally. <laughs> no, it was like that. I said, oh, oh, the Warriors, no, I'm walking in. It like, was a favorite. It was the a Golden favorite. State Warriors have just signed <laughs> Kevin Durant. I hey, think they're going to win it this I year. I predict Warriors. I was just walking in yeah. like my man won. Yeah. He goes, not exactly. You asked me on Wednesday, and I told you, you uh, my two picks were Rory, R.I.P., uh -huh. and uh, Scheffler. So, you also you thought I, you thought Spieth might be ready to roll. Yeah, Jordan. whoa, whoa, Spieth's not Jordan. Ready to roll. No. Yeah, that wasn't no, good. Not that ready to good. roll. Nope. Let me ask you this. Uh, you feel, when we left for the Warriors game on Friday, oh, boy. If you remember how you felt on Friday, you feel better or worse today? Uh, worse. Worse. <laughs> worse. Uh, worse. That's what worse. my answer. But, yeah. but the funny thing is, is in a way, this is going to sound silly because they got to win two games, which is crazy hard. But there is the path to the matchups yes. being the absolute best they could be. I, I would say I could, I feel worse, but I could feel even worse. If this game tomorrow night was in L.A., I'd feel way worse than I do with it being exactly tomorrow. what your boys say. Yeah, they should win tomorrow night. <laughs> right, they should. Right, someone tomorrow can night. get hot. Oh, someone sure. get hot. What about Friday? <laughs> That's a probably not. If it's New because Orleans, you got action. What was that? You yesterday? got no action. You got no action. New Orleans came here yeah. and they Dude, took you they, apart they did. systematically. I saw it up close. They took you apart piece by piece, and you played everyone, and you tried for oh, that no win. Kaminga. And, Oh, oh, yeah, my fault. Yeah. Well, there'll be no Kaminga tomorrow either.
Maybe, right? right? Well, maybe 11 I'm minutes. Kidding. We get them in there. No, no, they better. Is that where Guru we thinks, are? Guru thinks, and I wonder how you guys think on this. I'm proud he of feels, you. Hope, hopefully he got it. No, he, he, <laughs> oh, think I, I think, hold on. I'll listen. Okay. I think, on, okay. He thinks it would be discernibly worse if the Warriors lose tomorrow as opposed to win tomorrow, lose Friday. And I said... I think a week from now, nobody will care Right, that it was right. either the sack or the Lakers. Uh, can I? Can I? Other than, other than, God, we just don't want the little brother Kings oh, to do it. Can I split the two yeah, points and go can. right down the middle? I don't know if I would use the word discernibly worse, but it's worse. <laughs> that, that, well, he didn't. I used discernibly. It's, okay. Right. It's, right. De- it, it's no monk or two. You're missing two of your guys. Yeah. You're like your favorite. Your favorite. <laughs> your favorite. Two and a half, half deals. But your favorite. You are a road but, favorite but, against a wounded but non DNA team. Like to me, when you put yourself in ten, how it yeah. how you don't make it. I, I'm with you like four years from what now. About, what it'll about just it? be like they lost well, in the play in tournament. Again. Right. But but again. you do too. Yeah. think about the last yeah. time they were in this. You remember. You remember that there were two losses. Yes. You remember each of them. Separately. Sixteen point lead on the Lakers. Yeah. Blew it. So like I I, I you know, if they were to win tomorrow night and, and then let's say they go to New Orleans or LA and you you know you lose by three, I mean it'd be gut wrenching. But what about for the big picture? Yeah, probably this probably yeah. pretty similar. You mean as far as what the Warriors do yeah. next? Right. Yeah, it's flat I mean, out not good. I told them I think they already know, Dibs, what they're doing. Probably. Of course they do. Okay, that's what, we are. Of what do you think they're doing? Well, I mean, Chris Paul, bye bye, and Kevon Looney, thanks, but we're going to pay you the two or three million. Apparently, what about uh, Clay? That's the question. And you know, Clay, they have a number, and they offered him twenty four, and he said no, thank you. So, what do they offer him now? Twenty four and a quarter. Mm. I mean, they're not offering them thirty. Chris and Allen just got paid. It yeah. was seventeen. Dibs. Exactly. You you don't pay as much attention to the text line as some others. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, I ignore the text line. Okay. Okay. I've been doing that. Why are you a textist? I'm not a textist, Dibbly. but the people who text on the text line are normally trying to get you. Oh, and I don't need to be when got. You read How is that? You di- get them. Is that different than Twitter or YouTube or? Uh, and, yes. Yes. It is. Yes, because on those <laughs> platforms, you have to actually put your name on it on on the text uh, line and. Uh, Oh, that's interesting. I mean, read the number. It's 925. You don't read it, Stan. You, you don't have right. to put your name on it. You have to put a yeah. name on it. Correct. At and ZZ Zwick Zaza Boo Boo yeah. is like, he thinks fine. you're an idiot. Yes. Like, who can't? I and mean, that's anyway. fine. That's what and they're there I for. believe that <laughs> Uncle Looney is not first name uncle and last name Looney. Probably not. <laughs> but at least those people have to, like, put some, of some put sort of an identity on it. Somebody just took exception to the word dismantle. Right. They did not dismantle. They went crazy in the second quarter. The Warriors had nine turnovers. Oh, Friday night. And Zion largely was useless. At that, he says dismantle is a huge exaggeration. Well, did lost. I say dismantle? Yeah, you might have. They I mean, lost by five points. But if Curry had right. two of those threes, they win that by 50. What would have, could have, should have. But close, it was like right. that. Close basketball game. New Orleans showed you yesterday mm-hmm. that, that they are not infallible. Like, the beauty of these Western Conference playoffs just go in the last, Steiny, since we all old. left here. Yes. I could count five games where you look at a team that was on their home floor and you go, what the hell are yeah, you doing? Oh, right. What was Minnesota doing yesterday? Yeah. No, Even that's Denver, Denver on Denver Friday. Denver lose yeah. to the oh Spurs. Yeah. 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 New Orleans, you do all that work last week to build into the sixth seed. And, and then you go out there at home and you're down by... 30 or something. But they're yeah. better on the road, just like the Warriors are, than at home. Okay, fine. But, like, uh, uh, you know, there there were a bunch of games where you're looking at teams going, come on, man. Are we afraid of this? Like, what on <laughs> earth? Right. So everybody's capable of that in the West. And everybody's capable of an amazing game, which is why this playing tournament is pretty damn sexy this week. And you don't get Denver if you win if you get that. That's eight. big, right? That's big. That's crazy. Well, I mean, let's not even talk about that. Right. You that get easy, the right. team that I Thank wanted. You. Right? I you won. haven't. You <laughs> haven't earned the right <laughs> to talk about no, a no. playoff team. <laughs> but yeah. tomorrow night you have. If yeah. you win tomorrow, now you're one Friday. game away from OKC.
and I will talk about it because that's right. the team. I'll meet you halfway. Though. All right, fine. Well, you'll uh, be five point dogs no matter who you face on Friday. I disagree yes, with that. Wow, I would be, they, that's if it's the, the same, the same texter says. Depends on how they look. I'm really it. sorry. I've thanked and agreed with Dibs many times <laughs> in sure, the past, sure. but he's never read a text once. So that person never. actually has been super complimentary right. towards you in the Appreciate past. Appreciate it. Yeah. Prove it. Yeah. Yeah, I Prove believe. It. I'd like to see the screenshot. You could click on the number and you could see their uh, their or just, history, or That's just right. read the number. Read You're the listening number to ninety five seven The Game KGMZ <laughs> FM and HD one San Francisco. Uh, always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch and YouTube, powered by First NorCal Credit Union. One thing we found today is there are a lot of people more uh, that think Jonathan Kaminga is more important than the Golden State Warriors. That's one thing we're finding today. More important than what? Than the team. Will or don't fall for? Oh, okay. More important. <laughs> It's more about him yeah. than it is about no, the team. Stop, God dude. forbid they Can't lose do tomorrow. It. Seriously, now, God forbid they lose tomorrow and Kaminga only plays 16 minutes. I heard a rumor yeah. about your opinion. I didn't get to listen oh, to everything boy. today. and I, So I want to know if this was accurately shared with me. Steiny believes that Kaminga yesterday with his four shots was trying to send a, a Kobe-style message. No, Is I that never said accurate? Kobe. No, oh, never well, said just, Kobe. Was he trying to send a message, period? So I said, Kaminga seems out of sorts. Okay. And yesterday, I said, why did he not shoot? Oh, he was trying to get others involved. That's what the boss said. And I said, huh, the last person we said that about Kevin was Kevin Durant. When everybody said, oh, there's nothing to see here. He's just trying to get guys involved. But then we found out later... That he was a little bit miffed about people saying he shot too much and his role. So okay. I so have. Do you believe he was trying to send a message? I believe get, he's get, out of sorts. Getting others involved is, that's funny. Jonathan Kaminga is not out there. Right. Other people I think he had a right. season seven high seven in assists. Assist. He's the new point god. Right. Is yeah. what yeah. he is. Yeah. I think Kaminga's. You think he's upset? What? I, I'm, I'm trying to. What word yeah, do you want to yeah. use? What do you, I, I want to know? He what, said out I, of sorts. Yeah, but, but out of sorts. What does that mean? What, like, it means that regardless of his attitude right now, mm -hmm. whether he's attacking this from maturity or whether he's despondent, it doesn't matter. He's he now has to find a way to be effective off the bench, most likely in a little less playing time than he's had three weeks ago. And that concerns and, me, and like, brother. And, like, it may concern you, but that's it. That's the end yeah. of the story what, right now. Why does that concern you? It, it concerns me from this this vantage point. I don't know if he's mad. I'm not. We had Monty Pool on at 11 yeah. o'clock. He said he doesn't think he's pouting or trying to send a message. Okay. And what's scaring me is the Portland game, Dibs, it felt like something. Sometimes you could play yourself, your own mind. You could be your worst own right. enemy. And there's no doubt behind closed doors. He knows, I got hurt. I come back. I'm not starting. But Willard, I don't know if he can master being the the the, the dark knight, Jonathan Kaminga, who captivated us coming off the bench. Now, he gets the benefit of the doubt. And I think for this team to reach his full potential, he has to ma uh, master that. Whether it be 18, 25, we'll find out tomorrow. But looking 0 for 4 in the Portland game and then Friday he didn't play and they needed his his youth Friday I'm just scratching my head he asked me the biggest fear and I'm like Jonathan is still important but as a 21 year old can he be the best he can be in this new role which just happened on the fly so that and he may master it will but that concerns me if upstairs is he looking around like, that's not telling anybody. I was just starting to hurt my knees or tendonitis, and now I'm relegated they to the bench. don't give him $35 can we, million. Can we so, dive in for a sec? Oh, do we need to do the thing? He did it. He I did, did it. it. Okay. Yeah. Do, uh, can we dive in for a second about, because we did this with Clay for a while, and Clay mm -hmm. would be the first to tell you, the difference between, quote, unquote, the role as a starter okay. off, yeah. off the bench is totally mental. Wow. They're what else is there? You go play basketball with the same teammates yeah. that you always no, play right. and almost the same number of minutes. I, I don't think we should be giving these guys an out tomorrow night. Oh, but he had to do it off the bench. So what? So what? Well, Chris, he's Chris, 21. Chris so. Paul had never... No, but my point is, is yeah. that 
I'm not saying it won't change him, but if it is, that's between the ears. And that's what and we if it's talk between about. the ears. What I'm saying is that it's a, a 21 year old is different than a 35 year old in terms of like what you want for a role. Right. So a 21 year old who's waiting for that first big bag, oh. he's thinking, and I I'm not going to put myself in his mind, but if I was in his spot, I'd be thinking, give me 32 minutes and let me go out there and eat and get that big bag because. The big bag is waiting for him. Right, but that's as opposed what, to Clay, who's made a quarter billion dollars right. in the association. The, the other way to look at that, though, is Clay is sitting here going, "This is disrespectful." While Jonathan could only be thinking, "Well, this is just a momentary blip. Like this is a game. It's one game. He's been on the bench here for like right. three games. Yeah. Big deal." I mean, honestly, everybody wants the bag. Everybody wants thirty-two minutes. Moses Moody wants thirty-two minutes in a new contract too. He's not going to get it. And to me. In life, when you don't have what you want, if you pout, bleep you. Like, go out there and do something with what you've got and force the hand. This is what I've always said about young players, why I never understood the Trey Lance conversation. You can't hide talent. If you're awesome, you'll make it on the field. They'll put you in. They're just as motivated for you to do well as you are. They're not trying to save money. They're the Golden State Warriors. They're worth $7 billion. The money's there if you earn it. But if you, if, if somebody says you need to like come in halfway through the first quarter and instead of playing 29, you're going to play 26, and that kills you mentally, you're weak. Well, just to play devil's advocate, okay. he, might, he might say, well, I don't play with the same guys when I come off the bench. I don't get to play with the starters. Um. But the other thing here to me is it's I, I just don't I just don't get it. They're better. They like Steve Kerr thinks they're better with Trace Jackson Davis at center. Like Gosh, if, if don't he wants you? if yes, we okay, all do. Absolutely. We all agree. All right. So if he wants to mollify Kaminga, tell him the truth and say, Jonathan, it's not you, it's us. Right. We found right. unfortunately yeah, it's a classic we, break we up found, like you, we love you in the starting lineup, but uh, you're not going to believe this. We found something better, especially defensively with Trace Jackson Davis. We're a better team. Okay. Now, Jonathan, can you take us to a level even beyond that? Yeah. How? Come off the bench and be a sixth man like an old-fashioned sixth man who can come out and get you 18 in 22 right. minutes. Right. If you can do that... Now we get two levels yeah, above well, where we were I mean, when you were the starter. He can, can do can it. Can you do it? The game in December that actually forced Steve Kerr's hand and led to the Shams tweet and all of that was a game in Portland where he had been told you're not in the rotation. Yeah, right. And then someone right. got hurt, and he played the entire second half and won them a basketball That's game. That's when I went on my rant. Right. Yeah, was, and yeah. I thought, now that is a great, that's a great feather in his cap because that's staying ready, and that is... That's how you channel motivation. You might be ticked off about something. You don't go pout. You don't go yell behind the scenes. You go out on the court when your opportunity knocks and you M&M the darn thing yeah. and force your way in. Mom's and spaghetti. That's what he did. And so that was great. So I'm not accusing him right now of being weak. You guys, this yeah. was a hypothetical. Yeah. Um, he, he should be fine tomorrow night. Yeah. And if he's not, that's... So that's something that I would remember right. into the off season. Well, Let's last time they way. went to Sacramento in in this kind of a spot, that he had to be coaxed into getting on the bus. Right. Uh, reportedly, <laughs> you know, Steph Curry with the big yeah. speech about you know who's with me, get on the bus, and if you're not, then don't. And that was directed, you know, at least partially at him. I, and I, I think there's a big, big thing here too. Is it's not like if he comes out and pouts. First of all, he's, he's not smart gonna, enough. He's not, not going to do right. that. I don't right. think he's going to do that. It's no. going to be about the actual practicality of him in a different role this late in the season when the games are really high leverage. And the one thing I'm going to be looking at is how much playing time Kerr's going to give to Kaminga and Wiggins at the same time. Because that, to me, is what I find most interesting. If everything Kerr said this season, which is two or three times, about how they're just not in love with those two on the floor at the same time because of some redundancy. Well, then, are we looking at a case of Wiggins plays 32 minutes and Kaminga plays 16? Mm. Probably not. Hope not. That's drastic. Yep. But is it 33 and 22 so that they only overlap 
three to five. And it could be vice versa right. if Wiggins right. is Mr. In. Sure. Not that and he's rooting for that, but we've seen that's right. what I'm really looking for. Yeah. That's dangerous. Take it from wow. somebody who rode the pine in high school quite a bit. That's like dangerous. When, when you go out on the floor and the first time you let the ball fly, uh, you're immediately like, if it doesn't go in, I'm getting Like pulled. a tryout yeah. yeah. almost. It's, it's hard. And that's yeah. the one thing I worry about with these two guys, which is if in each game you're sending them out in the first Man. half and it's like, okay, Whoever plays better gets the second the half. ball gets heavy. That's tough. That's but a that, tough thing to hang over their head. That that, that's where I wonder, though. I think if Steve, if you ask Steve Kerr, if Wiggins is great and Kaminga is great, are the, which makes the Warriors better? That's a good question. Yeah. I Wiggins think he would for say me. Wiggins. Yeah. Yes. Probably. So, He's older and more seasoned. So no, if, no shade of And better on both sides. If Kerr thinks that Wiggins is the guy who gives him the chance to best reach their potential – then he may give Wiggins a longer leash so as to get that player who he thinks can elevate him a little yeah. higher than maybe Kaminga would. Probably. Yeah. I mean, Samal is like a game seven in baseball. No doubt. How long do you stay with exactly. your starter when he gives up two runs in exactly. the first? Bye. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Drought. No and feelings. May, but also maybe, you know, and I'm not ruling this out. Kaminga comes off the bench and helps him win a game. Wins the game. Uh, completely. Because we've seen that. Yeah. Yep. And my, he scoffed at me. I know we're up against it. No, you're fine. <laughs> no you know GP2. You're not up against anything. No GP2 tomorrow. And right. if they win, fry. Yeah. Like, he is one of your best. And Scott, yeah. you know, come on. That just, that's not good. That's all no, I'm saying. Who, not guards, you can't who win. guards the Aaron? Uh, or and he's or gonna, if you get to Friday, well, and GP2 bothering LeBron or whoever. Yeah. And Fox is going to play probably 46 I just, minutes that, tomorrow. That's mind-boggling that he's out, we know, for those yeah. two possible yeah. games. Well, yeah. And Monk's out for the Monk's, kids. Yeah, <laughs> which I'll take that trade, by the way. As much as I love yeah. GP2. And this is the same guy <laughs> who texted on Friday killer. and said, why, did, why didn't he play Moody more? His text come play, to you like that, he'll too? Play uh, Mo <laughs> he'll play Moody tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Moody's going to play tomorrow. Oh, boy. Guaranteed. No, nah, he is. Guaranteed. Yeah. All right. It's going to be a fun, uh, yeah. I was going to we'll say, week. Hopefully. Hopefully. Sure. It's a fun week yeah. on 95.7 <laughs> uh, The Game.